Guys, hope you had a good Monday. Today we're going to be seeing Amazon releasing a service similar to Netflix and Windows 8 boot time. As you all may know, Amazon has a lot of books that you can buy, digital and or hard copy of these books. What's been rumored is they're going to release a service just like Netflix where you pay a monthly fee and you can have like a certain amount of books every single month you can download, I'm assuming download, possibly hard copies, but there's no fine details, it's just a rumor right now, which I would assume this is going to happen because it's a, it's a great business idea. And it seems like that I can think of Amazon, maybe books and Barnes and Noble. <laughs> or it's companies like that, or only companies that really can do something of a Netflix type, but for books. And Amazon with the Kindle makes perfect sense, like streaming would be digital books, and then like the one DVD out at a time would be your physical books, something of that matter. And that'd be pretty cool to see, possibly you could work with textbooks too, for like students, they could do this if they want, they want to read books, but they also could print their te textbooks as part of this, and they could have like five books out, so one of their five books would be a textbook. And they could save money that way as well as letting them have extra reading material for them to use. I haven't seen too much said about Windows 8 so far, or when it's coming out. Too many new features about it. What is the, how is it going to vary from Windows 7? But one of the biggest things I've seen recently was its boot time. You look in the video right over me now, you'll see the lady. Um, press the power button and it boots up in like what five seconds. I didn't count it, but it's, it's amazingly quick. And it seems like in tests on their blog's website link below, that like majority of boot times are twice as fast. It's boot times. It's not such a big ordeal, more or less. You would rather have better general system performance than you would having a fast boot time because your computer is useless if you can boot up fast, but you can't use it once you boot up. So. Uh, they're going to have to figure it out to make sure Windows 8 doesn't use a lot more resources and be like a Vista for versus keep it Windows 7 style and resource usage and make it faster still, boot time, less resources, better management, that sort of thing. Which I like that they're improving upon because having to wait a minute and a half to finally be able to quickly use my computer, even though I have a fairly fast computer after you see my acrylic computer that is usually behind me. That's a pretty fast computer, but I still have to wait like a minute to a minute and a half depending on what I load at the beginning to just quickly load every, anything like normal. Versus if you have a solid state drive, everything usually within 60 seconds is fully loaded and you're good to go for the solid state, but solid states are expensive and are not easily found or easily installed by the general consumer and just having the operating system cut the boot time in half for you without having to get a new hard drive would greatly benefit to a general user. Those are two things that have interested me today. I hope they have interested you as much as they did me. If you're not already subscribed to me and want to see more of these types of videos, hit the subscribe button up above right there. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button down below. And I'll be seeing you on Wednesday.